This is Prime Sports Horse Report on Prime Sports Network as we preview tomorrow night's show with John Hardoon from the Sheets. John, how are you doing tonight? Good, Greg. How are you? Doing good. So Maximum Security, uh, one of the top horses in the world over the last year or so, uh, first race after service, and we know uh, the controversy there. And uh, things uh, looked pretty good for a while until uh, it almost didn't look good at the end, but Maximum Security was able to hold on for the win. Well, actually, he got up to win by a nose. He didn't hold on. The, the, the guy in the lead didn't hold on. That's why he won. The race came up slow on the sheets. It was actually one of the worst races he ever ran. Numbers-wise, he ran an eight, which uh, oh, really? That's pretty not bad. Good. What? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, for him, that's not good. I mean, he runs ones, threes, and everything else that goes with it, and he actually ran an eight. You know, it was, it was his first race back from Dubai and everything else, and uh, his first race in a while, so maybe he needed it, but he's obviously going to have to improve if he wants to run in the Pacific Classic. Listen, he's trained by Baffert, so obviously anything is possible, and uh, I'm sure he'll show improvement in his next start. Showed a lot of heart by getting up. You know, he looked like he was beat the whole stretch. And uh, on the wire, he had to nose down, and that's all that counts. Uh, but it's possible he's vulnerable. And since he'll be a heavy favorite, there might well, be a shot to take advantage. Yeah, we have to see who's running against him. And we have to see if even he makes the race. So let's see what happens. Horse racing, uh, you know, a month is a long time. Okay, now big weekend coming up. At Del Mar, you have two grade one races over the weekend. You have the Bing Crosby. That one is on Saturday. You have the uh, Clement L. Hirsch. That is on Sunday. Uh, Both of them are Breeders' Cup Challenge races. And then you have two grade one challenge races at Saratoga, the Whitney and the Personal Insing. You have the H. Allen Jerkins Memorial. That's a grade one. That's not a Breeders' Cup challenge race. The Bowling Green's a grade two at Saratoga. The Monmouth Oaks is a grade three at Monmouth. Um, so there's a lot of races to choose from. Uh, we were taking a look at the one race at Del Mar, the Bing Crosby. Um, and I guess you could look at it in one of two ways, one being with the heavy favorite, uh, backing out. Okay, you want to see the best horses run, uh, but with McKinsey scratching in the Bing Crosby, uh, that opens up the race to be a much better wagering race. No question about it. Whenever you lose a big favorite out of a, a race, especially a big field, and it looks like a full field to me, you know, that's a good thing if you're gambling and uh, if you want to be a fan and watch the races then I guess you're disappointed. But if you're interested in betting, trying to earn some money, well, now you have an opportunity. Yeah, I think there's 10 horses in the field. So that's a yeah. lot of horses without the without the main favorite. So uh, that's a good possibility that that will be our race tomorrow. Now, at Saratoga, you've got the three races, actually four races to choose from, three grade one races. Unfortunately, when we take a look at a couple of these races at Saratoga, starting with race five, that's the personal ensign, right? I mean, you only have uh, six horses in the field and a two to five favorite midnight basu. Yeah, well... I didn't look at the race yet, but unless you're going to beat Midnight Bijou, there's no point to discuss that race. <laughs> yeah. Either. And then the grade one Whitney, that's race nine. And there's only five horses in the field, uh, including uh, Tom's D Diatat. I don't know what the hell that that, that is, but that's a six to five shot. Yeah, I think we had that horse uh, a couple of weeks ago at Keelan, maybe. And, uh, you know. And Churchill Downs. Yeah, wherever it was. Yeah, Churchill. Yeah. Stephen F. Foster. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You that was a it. winning pick. So he's right. six to five and it's only five horses. So that's why we're probably not going to go with that race. So the two races that we're going to decide upon and the one we're leaning towards is Saratoga race 10, the H Allen Jerkins. Uh, that since that's a grade one race compared to the Bowling Green, which is a grade two. And as far as the favorites in the grade one race, uh, you have a nine to five shot, no parole. And that, and that's, that's pretty much it. There's a lot of other, you know, it's a big field. So that's probably the way that we're going to wind up going with, 
out of those two races, but they're both pretty good wagering races. Yeah. All right. Seven o'clock tomorrow night, the usual time. And uh, I guess we'll talk then. Yes. And uh, make sure also uh, that when you order your food tonight, uh, that, <laughs> that what? You, you get to, you, now, do you drink, do you drink red or white wine? White wine. Okay. That's, Why? That, that's, that's just a trivia <laughs> question for, for another show. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, John, enjoy your food tonight and your drink. And we'll talk to you tomorrow night. We got some good races to discuss. Thanks, Greg. Talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe, my friend. Be well.